Hello, I'm Michael. Uh, welcome back to another Blender Martin Yushkin tutorial. Today we're going to look at around turrets. Like you know, if you ever put a leak on a round turret, it will get smooshed in weird places and stuff. So it won't look good. And we're going to fix that today. Like normally, you would probably do it like this. Which gives this as a result that we won't want. So let's fix that. First off, take your background color. And move it fully up so you have a layer with only your background color. Let's export this to downloads. Then we're gonna go to Blender and put that texture we just made onto the vehicle. You probably know how this works if you've seen my other tutorial. Now we got this a fully blacked out colored. A texture. Now let's put the decal on there. What we want to do is go to the tools. Okay, texture paint, go to the tools. Then we're gonna find the section called texture. Then we make a new texture. And then we're gonna make this texture or decal. How we do this is go to here, open. And then we're gonna look for our decal. I wanna take this decal. You see that it now tries to tile them. We don't want that, so we go back to our active tools. Go back, scroll down, tiled. And we put it in stencil. Now you have the stencil right here. Now you can position it. You can right click, move it around a bit. Right click, shift, you can scale it. And if you scale it to the position you want and put it in the position you want, you can paint it in. And voila, there now we got our decal. It's smooshed right here. But if you look, it's perfectly round on the turret. And this is how you put the decals on around the turrets. What we now can do is copy this. Put this away and then put it back inside the folder. Export it. And then we can replace it with the new texture we just made. And voila. Weathered and all, you have a, a round decal on the dirt, on the round dirt. Because of the flat turret, like the mouse, it's very easy, but... Uh, here you go. Have fun. Good day. Also, after editing Michael here, if you want to do the camera movements I do, you hold Alt and then swipe the middle mouse button press to where you want to go. Like, if I want to go up from here, you press Alt, uh, middle mouse button, and swipe up. And if you want to move... Along this axis, hold shift, middle mouse button, and drag around, and then you can move right here. This is the basic movement, so you can easier place your test stencil. I forgot it in the main video, but uh, here you go. 